Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will be starting chapter 8, Database Concepts from your NCRD class 12th Computer Science book. Okay, so before starting with what is database and why do we need database, first we need to know uh, the limitations that caused or that created the database concept and uh, why manual record keeping <clears throat> is problematic in today's time. So the limitations of manual record keeping that led to the creation of databases and their popularity are as follows. The first limitation is that as the volume of data has increased in the current time, the manual data entry and the process of maintaining data manually, manually means by humans without any use of machines or computers has become very difficult okay so as the data volume has increased we are getting data from all sorts of devices and in all sorts of forms like images videos multimedia text and emojis and so on so this is this has become very difficult for humans to keep track with now manual data keeping or manual record keeping also leads to inconsistency in records inconsistency means if a human error occurs or by mistake humans can put in or uh, update incorrect information and that will lead to inconsistency so if the same information is stored at two places and at one place due to human error this information was modified then both these uh, records will not match because one of these records has been incorrectly updated so the these records become inconsistent the next is manual record keeping also is very much susceptible to loss of data because generally humans store data in uh, physical files okay not computer files but physical files and physical files can be easily damaged in case of fire floods or uh, any kind of uh, environmental factor which affects pen and paper okay the next limitation of manual record keeping is that it is very difficult to search for records when they are maintained in files because uh, every file you have to go through manually and search every line so as to find the desired record so it becomes very hectic in case of large data and the next point is redundancy so redundancy means duplication so if two different people are maintaining the record for same person but in two different areas then redundancy happens so for example in a school the record of a student is being stored by the teacher also and by the office also so if any change happens in the information of a student say he changes his name then if the office records uh, have updated the student information the teacher records have also updated the information then this means that the same information is being present at two different places and it is redundant it is duplicate and it is not required there should be only one place where the same information is stored and everyone should be able to access it uh, from that place only okay now the limitations of uh, manual record keeping led to the development of a file system and here when i say file i actually means computer based file not manual files in manual record keeping there were physical files but here we are talking of the files that are stored in computers so uh, with respect to computer based files a file will be any kind of container where data is being stored in a computer okay so it can either be a text file it can be any kind of coding file like c++ file java python file audio files video files and any other form of storage where the data is being stored in a computer and uh, it is stored it is storing some kind of information that is what is a file and uh, when you start storing these uh, information in computer in forms of files it is known as a file system the collection of all those files will be referred to as a file system 
so now what are the advantages of computerized file system the advantages include that uh, this these kinds of files are easy to create easy to copy add remove it is easy to add new information remove information or even modify existing information in computerized files as compared to manual files or physical files however there are certain disadvantages also of the file system now these disadvantages led to the development of databases so every time you learn a concept you need to know how that concept came into being what was the previous scenario and what were its disadvantages that led to the uh, making up of the new concept that you are now studying so uh, it the disadvantages of file systems were that when the number of files became very large there became up a difficulty in managing all those files and large amounts of data were difficult to maintain because again the files that were stored in computer need not have all those properties all those advantages that we are actually looking for sometimes the same kinds of file that means the files containing similar information were being stored in computer at two different places so again the same uh, problems were get uh, coming up so now let's take an example of a file system and see what are the disadvantages that we are talking of this is a student file that is maintained by the office staff now this file contains the roll number of the student the name of the student his or her date of birth the guardian name the the phone number of the guardian and the address of the guardian now if you look carefully there are two records records 3 and records 5 where the same information is present for the guardian because it might happen that the same that one class has twins or uh, one class has siblings in it and the same guardian information is existing for both of them so this is a clear repetition of data and it should be avoided one file should be separately maintained that stores the guardian information and here we can only store a marker that points to that information so all uh, this information stored in three columns will not be duplicated so we'll see how this problem is solved in databases now let's see another example this is the attendance file that is being maintained by the class teacher now this file contains the date of the attendance the roll number the name of the student and what the attendance was whether the student was present or absent here also the student name is being repeated and in the previous case also the student name was existing in the office staff file so again this is a redundancy it is a duplication the class teacher file can simply store roll numbers and the corresponding attendance and student names are not required unless and until the student the teacher needs to call out names again there should be a mechanism so that the uh, information is not repeated and at the same time all the people who want to use them can use it okay so basically there are certain limitations of the file system let let to the development of databases and the first limitation is data redundancy so as we have said data redundancy means duplication of the same contents in different files then redundancy also leads to wastage of storage spaces because if the same information is stored at different positions then each of these files will take up more space as compared to a situation in which one kind of data is present only in one file okay so you will need more storage space when redundant information is present at multiple places the second limitation or disadvantage of file system is data inconsistency so data inconsistency happens when there is a mismatch in the information of the same person or the same kind of uh, the same information uh, has two different values 
or uh, add different files okay so as i said uh, if the office staff is storing the name of the student and the class teacher is also storing and suppose the student uh, changes his name then if the office staff updates it but the class teacher does not then there will be a mismatch in the information for the same person and that is inconsistency so this basically happens when similar contents are maintained by different people and when one of these people who is maintaining the content does not change the content does not update the content whereas the other person updates the content okay that is the cause of data inconsistency <clears throat> the next limitation of file system is data isolation isolation means that uh, data is present separately very much independent of its on its on its own so that means that when similar kinds of contents are stored in different files they must be linked to each other in some manner they must not be independent to each other because when data is linked among itself it is easier to store Uh, the data has to be stored only at one location and inconsistency does not happen okay so if data is not linked to each other separate application programs will be required to access these different files where the data is stored and if the data is stored in different formats say the class teacher is storing in an excel file and the office staff is storing in a csv file now if you have written a python program that only accepts a csv file then in that case you will have to change that program to access the excel file also so basically if similar information rather the same information is present only at one place all these problems will not happen the next issue that comes up with the file system is data dependence now data dependence means that depending on the format of the data the associated application program also changes so if the data format gets updated then we'll have to modify the application program also so this is a very big disadvantage because uh, for example you are using a particular data format today say you are using excel and in uh, in few years down the line you start using some other data format then you'll also have to uh, excel as means the if you are using excel files then if a uh, if an application program that you have developed is completely based on the properties the functions of the excel file if you decide to change this particular storage format and you shift to some other format then in that case your application program would have to be completely rewritten that is also a very big disadvantage okay now the, <clears throat> now the next limitation is controlled data sharing this is the fifth disadvantage and it means that it is very difficult to enforce access controls in files now access control means that only those people who are actually allowed to see the contents of the file should be able to access the file the watchman should not be able to access your attendance file because he does not have that rights he has no use accessing that attendance record so it becomes very difficult to enforce these access controls in files and if it is difficult to enforce such constraints the confidentiality and integrity of data gets affected so integrity means that the original data might be changed the there might be changes to the original information that was stored and confidentiality means a person who is not authorized who does not have the permission to access a particular kind of data is able to access that data then confidentiality is lost okay now all these limitations led to the development of databases and this is what we are going to study in detail in this chapter now what are databases databases are again a collection of data and they are an organized collection of data now this organization 
is in such a manner that the data which is logically related to each other is stored together okay so all the information about a student which uh, see all this information about a particular student is related to each other what are his marks what are his attendance records what is his guardian this is logically related information and when you organize this information in a manner that all the limitations of the uh, file system are overcome then you actually create a system and that system is now known as databases how data is stored in databases we will study in detail from the next video but as of now you should also know that databases are managed by an application which is known as dbms database management systems okay so this would be the topic of the next video uh, that's all for today's video thank you for watching till we meet in the next video mind your exam